to start by paying Air India a compliment that whether it was pre-COVID or during COVID, they have been discharging their uh, the tasks assigned to them with uh, uh, efficiency and with a sense of uh, commitment and dedication. But Air India, anyone who's familiar with Air India, including people who work in Air India, realize that privatization is not only necessary, but leaves us with no option for the simple reason that airlines the world over have been under strain pre-COVID and COVID has introduced a new element. And I don't want to start listing here all the airlines that have collapsed during uh, COVID. Uh, it reads like a who's who of, um, uh, in a hall of, um, uh, you know, uh, airline fame. And I don't want to get into that discussion. But I must, uh, I will request uh, CMD Air India, who has been conducting very detailed uh, discussions with uh, all sections of Air India, with the, uh, you know, the, the, the pilots, the, uh, with the engineers, etc. And uh, after he has uh, outlined the broad contours of what is being attempted, I will say a few words here. So what uh, we are planning to do at Air India is to try and uh, steadily increase our top line, increase our revenues. At the same time, we are trying to contain our costs. We can contain our costs largely in three manners. We can uh, reduce our debt. We can reduce our lease rentals. We can reduce our staffing costs. We can reduce our operating costs. So we are working on all these three fronts. We are negotiating with lessors to reduce the aircraft rentals. We made some initial headway, and we hope that given the current global situation that is there for the airline sector, we will be able to negotiate an improved deal with our lessors. We have taken some measures to contain our costs. We have cut down our staff costs. We have uh, <coughs> laid off uh, employees who were working with us post-retirement. We brought, on, brought in some policy <coughs> policies which will help us further cut down our costs. We are in negotiations with the pilots. We are in negotiations with the cabin crew and other, uh, other uh, employee categories. And uh, we are also looking at cutting down our costs by renegotiating our rentals with hotels and, and transport providers. All in all, we should be able to reduce our costs, uh, our operating costs as we go forward and uh, reduce our dependence on government support. I, I like the way Rajiv has presented it uh, with caution. I was hoping that he'd come out with a figure to tell us how much he has brought the overall cost down per year, but maybe I will have to do that later subsequently. But uh, I appreciate the efforts which are being made. Uh, but let me make just two comments. Uh, what Air India is trying to do in terms of introducing uh, economic efficiencies and rationalizing uh, uh, operating uh, uh, systems to, with a view to bringing down costs is not Air India specific. The entire civil aviation industry, the world over is doing it, all right? Uh, I don't want to get into an exercise to tell you what our private carriers have done. Um, I know. A little report appearing here and there will give the impression as if, oh my God, something is happened. Believe me, this is the most comprehensive, inclusive discussion that's taking place, and we have to face reality. The reality, as I've been saying for several months, including every interaction we have, if I would have been surprised if this question had not been asked. Uh, the, he, Raji put it very nicely. He said, we want to reduce our dependence on, uh, uh, on the government for equity. The fact of the matter is that um, even if you want dependence on the government, the government may not be in a position by virtue of the other demands which are being made on the government uh, in the current situation, you know, demands made by, you know, from the need to address uh, measures, uh, you know, deal, you know, come up with specific policies to deal with, uh, you know, uh, providing relief to certain vulnerable sections of society, etc. So I think it's a very Timely, it's something that was going on for a while and uh, it will be done with a view to making Air India not only more efficient, most cost effective, but also 
The question was, okay. are you persisting with privatization? We don't have a choice. We have to. And I always say that Air India, when it um, uh, is ready uh, for privatization, it, it is a very attractive listing, but it will be done keeping in full view the interests of all those who have served this great airlines over a period of time. It's not that we're doing it. It's not that somebody is taking the cut and others are not. It, the cuts will be uh, f uh, you know, across the board, but that is something that the CMD and the board will determine uh, and the things will be worked out, but it's proceeding uh, in a very harmonious manner.